the first step will be taking your desired shirt and laying it over your old t-shirt so that you can roughly gauge like the cutting of the shirt that you want that will be on the old t-shirt. Next, you're gonna ensure that both of the collars of the shirt are in line so that the cutting will be perfect. Once you think that it is perfect, mm, I guess you can get on to cutting but first you're gonna draw a line to see where to cut. Once you think the shirts are perfectly in line, you can start snipping away but uh, please be careful not to cut your fingers or there will be a blood fest and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Okay, now that you're done cutting the sleeve, you can fold both of the you can fold the shirt in half to ensure that both sides of the sleeve are actually equal. I mean you wouldn't want a bigger left armor hole than the right one, right? That would be weird. Just repeat the same step of drawing an imaginary line because I'm really careless so I have to do it. Then you can start cutting uh, according to the other sleeve which you have cut and I guess we're almost done. Oh my god, I totally forgot about removing the safety pins from one another before starting this tutorial. Just unbuckle the safety pins and start pinning them onto the shirt. It's really easy. As easy as this step can seem, if you're not careful, it can also be quite dangerous if you ever poke yourself. This is me and my shirt after pinning it for around 5 minutes and I'm sure that our shirt should roughly look like this more or less like mine I suppose if you want it to look like that Aimlessly pinning one by one Okay, don't judge me. I was watching my Hong Kong drama and listening to one of my favourite songs. So after you're done, your shirt should actually look like this. So very grungy. So I actually took around 20 minutes to do this. So I guess, I think you guys should take around the time, right? Or maybe even faster than me. So, um, so one of the problems that I know that you guys might be thinking of face would be that you guys would be thinking that this safety pin uh, comes off very quickly. Like, it's so easy to come off, you know. So, um, like, what if you wear it and like, uh, if a lot of them comes off and start poking it, like, you wouldn't even know. So, one of the solutions that I came up with would be that take the back of the scissors, yeah, and so this part, right, where the safety pin will come out, ta -da, like that. So, you just take the back of the scissors and you just cap it down, ta -da. Then, once you cap it, right, it actually tighten. So then making it very harder for the thing to come up. So like another example would be that like right? take another safety pin over here. Then you just cap it down. Ta it should Ta Okay, so see it's down. So it's hard to come up again. So this is um, I wouldn't do it to all the safety pins, I'll only do it to the bigger ones because the set that I bought comes in different sizes, I didn't even know. But the smaller one I never really face, like it doesn't come off as easy as the big one. So like the big one, I just kept it here. It's actually quite fun. So this is how it looks like uh, me. Uh, actually, the whole arm is actually quite big. Then I turn out, but I changed when I um, start drawing. This is kind of cute. So to me, this is how it should look like. You know, it's very simple, very right? easy. You just DIY should take around less than 30 minutes and it's actually very fun so you guys can do it with your friends or whatever so this is how you transform a very simple and plain boring t-shirt to like something grungy in less than $10 I mean, okay, less than $5 like if you have a scissors at home, you really need a scissors so like I only got a packet of the safety pins for 100% like 3 hooks with 12 safety pins so 3 times 12 safety pins Safety pins, so that is 36, 36 safety pins for uh, 50 cents. So, uh, so for me, my every, the total cost of everything, including the shirt, is around $10. But if you are taking a whole shirt, 
so it's any I guess only five or six you can it should only cost two dollars or maybe even three dollars. So yeah, I hope you guys have fun and have fun styling your t-shirt and you guys can actually um hashtag fat foam um, after you do this DIY so I can look at some of the DIYs you did like a foam. So yeah, see you then, bye guys!